So I posted a video like two days ago talking about bleached eyebrows and I mentioned that I didn't know if I was going to re-bleach them because I didn't want to buy new products and whatever, whatever, whatever. Well, here we are. I'm re-bleaching them and I bought products. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so I just walked down to like this local beauty store right down the street and I bought this Life bleaching powder in blue because blue cancels out yellow or orange or whatever. And I bought this developer in 20 volume, 6%. I just watched some YouTube videos and this is what everyone else was using. So you're obviously gonna need something to mix it in. This was like one of those travel, little travel size bottles. I just cut it in half. And yeah, a little spoolie thing. This one is just one that I had forever, part of my makeup. So I'm gonna use this. Some Vaseline, of course, for a skin protectant. Some Q-tips, plastic wrap, and some purple shampoo for toner. Damn, I was thirsty. All right, so I think that's really all you need. I'm just gonna clip my hair up now and we can get started. So for starters, this is how my eyebrows look. They are growing out. It hasn't even been a full week yet. They are very yellow because we only bleached them once and my eyebrows were so black that it probably needs two sessions to reach that like platinum color that I was going for. This part is optional, but I'm gonna use one of these like little razor blade things and just kind of clean up around my eyebrows because I have some hairs like all over. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of clean them up. I try to stay away from plucking the bottom parts of my eyebrows, um, and I just like to clean up the top because if I don't, my hair will grow like all the way, like connecting. It's, it's so weird. Next, we're gonna use some Vaseline and just kind of cover this general area. I'm gonna put some on my eyelids just in case any bleach falls down. All right, so to mix the bleaching powder and the developer, I'm totally gonna just eyeball it. Like there's barely anything in there. Mm, it actually smells really nice. Developer. All right, guys, I feel like I have to add this in. This is my first time, obviously, bleaching my own eyebrows, so I'm literally just going off of what I've seen other people do on YouTube. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna stop calling my videos tutorials because people like to come after me and say that I'm doing it wrong and whatever, but I'm literally like learning as I go and hopefully it helps someone. What I saw other people say is that clumpiness and like thickness is kind of what you're aiming for because if it's too liquidy, it's just gonna like start falling down. Just enough thickness to where it doesn't start dripping everywhere, then I think, I think that's the consistency we're going for. <sighs> I got my eyelash, no. Okay, next side. Okay, so now I'm gonna just go over both of them and just put like a coat of bleach on top. Now we're gonna just cut small pieces of 
the plastic wrap to place over the eyebrows. I hate plastic wrap. I hate that it bunches up. I'm gonna set a timer for like 20 minutes. I'll be back in 20. So you should be able to see kind of through the plastic wrap if the bleach is working. <laughs> but, but I can't see anything. So we're just gonna cross our fingers. I have 10 minutes left. So when I got my eyebrows bleached, they actually didn't do this step. They didn't use any plastic wrap. So I don't really know the true benefit. I think they say it activates the bleach by they. I'm referring to other people on YouTube. I already know someone's gonna comment down below and tell me what the benefits of it is, but yeah, I guess we'll see how it works. I just don't want that like orange yellow tint anymore. So, Let's hope this works. It's time. It's been 20 minutes. I've been checking on it. Again, I can't really see much. So, let's unleash the beasts. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for this part, you can use like a towel or anything, but I'm just gonna use paper towel because it's like a little bit less harsh on my skin. And we're just gonna dampen it with some water and wipe. All right, so I can't help but laugh because in this exact moment, I really thought I burnt off my eyebrow hairs, but no, they're still there. They're just super white that it almost looks non-existent. Hold up. Hold up. I need to check if I have eyebrows still. Oh my gosh, yes. So all of like most of the yellow is lifted, which is a good thing. I'm always gonna have just like a darker shadow right here. I don't really know how to get rid of that. I think it's just natural. You, you can see it, right? Like I have a dark shadow. Interesting. Okay, anyways, that looked like it worked pretty well. So now we're gonna tone it. Doesn't really look like it needs to be toned, but we'll do it anyways. All right, so I'm gonna be using this L'Oreal purple shampoo. Everything on this is in a different language, but I'm pretty sure it's purple shampoo. <laughs> This might be like one of the most boring videos I've ever filmed. So I'm sorry for the lack of interesting content. Okay, now we're gonna let this sit for like, we'll do like eight minutes. I don't really know. I know if you keep it on for too long, it could dry your hair out, but it's just eyebrows, right? All right, we'll do eight minutes and I'll be back. All right, all right. Now we can take off the toner. I'm just gonna use these like damp little cotton wipes. No, there's just no way. Okay. If I had purple eyebrows, I would have cried. I was about to be like, did I accidentally get purple dye? That would have been pretty funny though. I'm struggling guys because I don't have obviously all my camera equipment that I normally do back at home So there's only a few hours in the day that I can film Because if I film too early the Sun is like blaring into my room and the lighting looks so awful and if I film too late Like right now the Sun is setting Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with the way that it looks. I removed 
most of the yellow for the most part. Now they're kind of just white, like that platinum-y icy white, which is kind of what I was going for, so no complaints. I don't know why I didn't just do it at home by myself from the start because this was really easy. Yeah, all right, anyways, I think that's it.